Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you the Samsung second screen feature, which allows you to use selected Samsung tablets as an external display to your computer. So this allows you to move windows to the other display easily. And you can also use Windows desktop software on your Samsung tablet. So for example, you can use Adobe Photoshop. But unfortunately for me, I wasn't able to get Photoshop to work properly, which I will show you later on. But I've tested this with other drawing and graphic design software and they all work properly except for Photoshop. In order to use Samsung second screen feature, you need to use a compatible Samsung Galaxy tablet running One UI 3.1 and you need to be using the latest version of Windows 10. Before you have the connection, make sure both the computer and the tablet are on the same Wi-Fi network. Then go into the Samsung settings here and look for a second screen, tap on it. This will allow other computers to discover this tablet on the Wi-Fi network. For the connection mode, you can choose between these two. For faster response, for drawing and gaming, choose this. And for smoother playback for video, you can choose this. So I want to draw, so I'm going to choose this. And now on your Windows computer, just press the shortcut Windows key plus K. So just select the Samsung tablet here and tap on it. So now both devices are connected and this is currently in extended desktop mode sharing the same wallpaper. Now if for some reason the Samsung tablet is black or blank here, you may have to restart your computer and then connect or update to the latest Windows version and then try connecting again. I've tested this second screen feature with three laptops only one out of three works. So uh, even if you may have the requirements met, the screen may not connect. Now on this panel, make sure you put a tick here to allow for mouse, keyboard, touch and pen input on the Samsung tablet. If you want to, you can change the projection mode here and these are the different projection modes you can choose. You can choose to disconnect. You can choose to duplicate or mirror. You can use extend, which is the current mode that I am using, or you can use this second screen only as the main and only desktop. You can also change the projection mode using the Windows uh, settings. So here, display number one is my laptop. Display number two is this Samsung tablet. At the time of making this video, the resolution on the Samsung tablet is just limited to 1080p. The other option is 720p, which is worse. If you want the Samsung tablet to be your main display, you can put a tick here. Making this the main display just means that all the icons, the folders will be here on this desktop. And when you open apps, those apps will appear first on this desktop. And then if you want to, you can move it to the other desktop. This bar here can be hidden by clicking on this pin icon. The bar will still be there when the cursor is near the edge. Let me connect this tablet to a power source before I show you the latency and the drawing performance you can expect. So this tablet, by the way, is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. The battery life is not that great, so I need to use external power just to make sure that I don't run out of power suddenly. So let's open Photoshop. This is just a blank canvas with some text. So now I'm going to select the brush and I'm going to draw on this empty layer and nothing happens. But the pen actually works when the pen is near the display. You can see the cursor, it's moving around. You can also use the pen to drag palettes around, click on the tools here, click on the menus here. Um, they all work except for the brush for some reason. In fact, I can actually use the move tool here to move the text around, but I just can't draw with the brush. Now I've seen one YouTube video showing that it's possible to draw with the Samsung S Pen with Photoshop with this second screen feature, but personally I wasn't able to get this to work for me. 
By the way, if you are able to get Photoshop working with second screen, please share with me how you got that to work in the comment section below and you can help others as well. I've just switched over to Affinity Photo. So I'm going to choose this acrylic brush, choose this gray brush and draw here. There is some latency issue, uh, but you can still use this for drawing. It's not like a big deal. So let me try and draw something really simple. This is pressure sensitivity. Let me just zoom in for you to see. Finger gestures, they work. So you can use this to zoom in and out, pan around the canvas, and you can rotate as well if your software allows you to rotate. So you can see pressure, it works. I can draw thin lines, I can draw thick lines. There is definitely some latency. So if you draw like really fast, if you do like really quick sketches, the lines will try to catch up with your pen tip. But overall, the drawing experience, um, it's still all right. It's not the best, but at least this allows you to work with desktop software. So Affinity Photo is not available on Android. If you want to use Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer or any other desktop apps that are not available on Android, you will have to use those apps with a second screen. So I have no issues drawing with Affinity Photo using Samsung second screen. In fact, um, the experience is quite good, just that occasionally there is the lag. But yeah, overall drawing experience is quite all right. So this allows you to use uh, Windows desktop apps, which is the main selling point of having Samsung second screen. This is Adobe Illustrator, so finger gestures work and finger gestures actually uh, work quite well. It's quite responsive. Now with this app, um, pressure sensitivity sometimes works, uh, sometimes it doesn't, so I'm not sure why. By the way, palm rejection uh, doesn't work that great with this uh, particular app. There are certain apps that allow you to draw with only pen input, in which case it means if you try to draw with your finger, nothing will happen. So obviously you can put your palm on the display and nothing will happen, but you can still use finger gestures. Uh, this app that I'm using is Clip Studio Paint. It doesn't make sense to use Clip Studio Paint on this Samsung tablet in this situation because Clip Studio is available through the Google Play Store. Unless, of course, if you only have one license for Clip Studio to run on your desktop, then you can use that same app to run on this. Or you can just get the dual license to run on the desktop or laptop and the other license to run the native Android app here, in which case the performance is going to be better. There is not going to be any uh, lag like what you see here. And also sometimes when drawing really quickly, I find that the lines may break. Uh, it's like sometimes the connection breaks somewhere and you will see bricks like this happening. Being able to use this Samsung tablet as an external display is very useful, obviously. So you can draw here while the reference photo is displayed on the other display. And when you save the file, you can save the file directly into the Windows file system. Now this is the ideal situation when the drawing app works properly here with pressure sensitivity. But as shown earlier, for some reason, pressure doesn't work with Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So if you can't use your pen with pressure with Photoshop and Illustrator, then it doesn't make sense to use those apps on this display. Then it just works as a normal external display. Hopefully there will be updates in the future to fix the problem with pressure sensitivity with Photoshop and Illustrator. By the way, if you guys know any fix uh, workarounds, let me know in the comment section below. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you guys again.
Bye.